Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Middleton, where we have, well, a bunch of people who did a lot of things wrong when it came to the well-being of a child. And, well, somebody's going to end up paying in the long run for this little snafu. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and try not to smash your computers, okay? Good morning. Are you Cassandra Louise Gilbert? Yes. We've met before. I'm yeah. Judge Middleton. And you're here with your attorney, Lori Hines. Yes. Uh, the co-defendant is represented by Mr. Gibson. And you can't have the same attorney for co-defendants if they're appointed. So Ms. Hines has gotten your half of this case. Your child charged with child abuse in the second degree. Let me go to this. The allegation in this case is that you failed to take action or get any medical treatment or report the fact that your child had been a victim of a sexual assault. You know, at this point, I myself, I the only thing I could do would be the Steve Wilkos response to the allegations in this particular scenario. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. But you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to do that to you. Which it is quite funny that I used a Steve Wilkos clip uh, right now because the this stuff that goes on throughout this video reminds me of the good old days of Jerry Springer and how Steve Wilkos used to be the head of security for that particular show until he got promoted and had his own show. So Mr. Marvin has charged this as a child abuse in the second degree, which is punishable by up to 10 years imprisonment. Uh, apparently, he's willing to reduce this to a child abuse in the fourth degree, which is a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail. Is that correct, Mr. Marvin? Yes. It's failing to protect the child who is in your care and custody. It's punishable by up to a year in jail and I believe a fine of up to $5,000. It does allow for up to five years of probation. Uh, Ms. Hines, you've all already confirmed that's the plea offer. Yes, sir. We've gone over it. She Are you in the abuse and neglect case today. too? No, I'm not involved. Are you? Do you have an open neglect case or just CPS involvement? Just CPS involvement. Okay. Well, Ms. Gilbert, um, let me tell you a couple of things. By pleading to this charge, the felony case is going to be dismissed, um, and you would plead to the misdemeanor. Did you know Dwayne Shook? Dwayne Shook. Dwayne Shook. No, I never heard of a Dwayne Shook, but I'm sure he must be shaking in his boots if uh, he understands that Bubba and the boys will be looking for him if he had anything to do with that uh, child getting hurt. Oh, boy, yeah, I'm sure Bubba and the boys would be glad to meet him. Yes. And who was Dwayne to you? Um, my fiance. And did your daughter, who was eight, tell you that... Dwayne had had first with her. No, she um, did not tell me. I didn't really know anything um, except for she was red, and I did take her to the hospital. Um, they said she just had an infection. Your um, Honor, we can handle this upstairs. I, I'm disgusted. I'd rather handle it upstairs. To be honest with you, this. It, there, it's kind of a two part to this, David. So let her finish, yeah. okay? All right. Well. So first, you know, you noticed the red. Is that right? Yeah. And you took her to the hospital. I took her to the hospital because she's immune to infections. So I thought it was just an infection, but I was curious, and my daughter can verify this. So I kept asking her if she's been touched or anything. If anything happened, I, everything, and she kept telling me no. Um, she said, I probably just got another infection. I've been itchy. So I took her to the hospital. They said she just had an infection, which they didn't check her out or anything. Well, I just thought there was some more to it. So I asked her and asked her. And then it was like, I think a week or two later, she told me that the truth. 
that she was touched. By Dwayne. You have to speak here. Yes, answer. that's a lie. All right, would you please escort that lady out? Um, well, if you're wondering who that person was that was in the back of the courtroom shouting, that is the uh, mother of the other accused person in this case, uh, who will be introduced here in a few minutes. So this is getting a bit more Jerry Springer-like. And what did you do after the child told you that she had been touched? Um, oh my gosh. Sorry. Um, after they told me she had had, or she told me that she actually didn't tell me at first. Um, I don't know if she was scared or whatever, but I immediately called my sister and asked my sister if she would take her to the hospital. Well, she took her to well care and again. And they sent her over to the hospital, uh, Sturgis, and then Sturgis ended up sending her to cold water. Your Honor, may I ask, but you did. if she's going to give facts to the case, would you put her under oath so I can use it later? Um, yeah. Because I'm not hearing any kind of... She will, she'll She'll get there. The problem is what happened then? What happened? You didn't, you didn't. You weren't proactive, were you? No. You weren't proactive in calling the police? <laughs> And why didn't you call the police? Because I was scared. Who were you scared of? Me. Is it Dwayne? I think that's where the basis is. She failed to act to call the police. All right. Uh, that and who was in here today? Well, get us. But um, the affidavit says the interview of the child said she told you that he had intercourse with her. Is that true? Yeah. And it was. And you didn't um, call the police. Yeah. We took her to the hospital immediately. After All right. Stop trying there. to have it both ways. If you either want to plead guilty to this, right. you're going to plead guilty. If you want to tell me how innocent you are, Mr. Marvin is more than willing to have a felony preliminary <clears throat> examination. Sir, would you remove your hat again? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, so are you either going to plead to this or tell me how innocent you are? The allegation is that your boyfriend uh, had intercourse with your eight-year-old daughter and you didn't call the police. Is that true? Yeah. Oh. All right. We're not going to have any more outbursts. All right. You need to stop right now. Or tell her to right. Right. So, uh, I don't uh, need any more. All right. Uh, yeah, he can, he can leave also. Tell Mr. Her to uh, he can leave now. Judge told you to leave. Good. Lying fucking bitch. All right. Let's take Mr. Shook back into the lockup, okay. sir. You're in contempt of court and you're going Lying. to jail. What am I doing? You're in contempt of court. For what? For swearing in my courtroom and being disrespectful. This is I a. I didn't mean it. Yes. Well, I don't care whether you meant it or not. You said it to me, so you can go to jail for a while and you go back outside. I'll go to my car. You're going hey to jail, sir. You and I are going to talk about this a little later this morning. This is a public courtroom. We're not sitting around the kitchen table, and you don't get to express your opinion about what you think about the veracity of the case. So you and I have a little discussion. Can I have your keys? No. You, you can leave or you can go to jail with him. You go sit out in the hallway. Damn! Damn! I will. I promise. Okay. Well, I don't want to say anything more. All right. Where am I? Okay. Now the father and son have been uh, taken out and put in time out. I think it's time to get on with this shit show. Let's see if there's anything else that uh, Jerry Springer can whip up and interrupt this uh, whole dang shebang. All right. This is very serious business. Uh, we're in a criminal courtroom public courtroom of the state of Michigan. I don't own it. I just work here, but I'm responsible for the decorum in the courtroom. We're talking about very difficult things. And in this day and age, people want to say whatever they want to say, whenever they want to say it. They're the parents of the co-defendant, Dwayne Shook, and they obviously have feelings about it. 
And that's why I was kind of scared to talk because they All kept right. saying stuff over there. All right. Well, they aren't going to say anything anymore because they're here. gone. Well, we'll make sure you're safe when you get out of here. Um, when I was prosecutor, once upon a time, I handled about 400 child CSC cases over 22 years, and I tried about 40 of them. So I'm familiar with the whole phenomenon of very young children having to tell adults about bad stuff that happened to them. And the adults who love them are supposed to protect them. And the allegation here is you didn't very do a very good job of it. I was scared. All right, well, I'm not, don't say any more about it. You're scared and I understand. We're gonna get more information. In fact, is there a condition that she testified against Mr. Shook? Well, I'm going to set it out. I didn't, I didn't make that a condition of this. So it would be dirty pool for me to do it now. Um, I don't know if she's going to testify, Your Honor, and your PSI will disclose that she's trying to have her eight-year-old daughter, she's trying to force her to take a, a poly because she doesn't believe her. So... No, it's not that. Stop, stop, stop. And now we have Twain Shook that's entering the uh, picture here. So let's see what this asshat has to say about the whole thing. Bond motion. I also have to do an order. Good morning, sir. Are you Dwayne J. Shook? Yes. This is Judge Middleton. I'm here with your lawyer, Mr. Paul Gibson. You can see him on the screen. Also present is prosecuting attorney David Marvin. Uh, your case is set for a pre-exam conference today. Uh, the charge alleges that on or about September 3rd that you had intercourse with a child that was less than 13 years of age. That's a lie. That's a well, lie. that's... That's the charge. I'm not saying it's true or not. Count two is you interfered with a crime report. And count three is assault with intent to commit sexual penetration. You're charged as a individual offender, making that punishable by up to life imprisonment. Um, your lawyer has indicated you wish to have a preliminary examination, and that would be set for next Tuesday at one o'clock. Um, he has made a motion to reduce your bond, and I'm not inclined to do that until after we have the preliminary examination or a waiver, and then we can discuss it. Uh, so I'm going to defer the motion to next Tuesday, November 14th. Now, Mr. Gibson indicated that he has a video that's been provided by the prosecutor, and he has difficulty playing it. He wants to come to the jail and sit down with you and watch the video together and then discuss uh, what your options are. I'm assuming, Mr. Marvin, if there's a prelim, all plea offers are withdrawn? Yes. So why, why am I being accused of something I didn't fucking do? I have multiple witnesses I didn't do shit. I have her mom saying I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh, dude, uh, you do realize that you've been accused of doing this, and just because you say you're innocent doesn't mean that the uh, charge automatically goes away. You know, there's a whole process to this, you moron, and you gotta see it through to the end and hope you've got a good attorney that can get you off if you are truly innocent. I mean, this isn't exactly the days of, uh, trial by combat or anything like that. Um, Mr. Shook, stop swearing here in a public proceeding. I just put your father in jail for two days for dropping the F-bomb here in the court. <laughs> you're already in jail, but you're sure not doing yourself any favors by asking me to reduce your bond while you're cursing here. Sorry. So I didn't make the charge. I'm just telling you what it is. Um, and uh, they're very serious charges. 
Um, Cassandra Gilbert. Why do you think I'm really so upset? Um, all right. Well, share with your lawyer. Cassandra Gilbert entered a plea this morning on another charge related to this. Um, anyway, the matter is set for preliminary examination next Tuesday at one o'clock. Um, I'll address the bond motion at that time after a waiver or a prelim. Um, Mr. Gibson is gonna be coming to the jail and meeting with you to discuss this further. It, it might be worth conveying something that uh, Paul Gibson will talk about with him. So the idea in exchange for a waiver um, that would avoid a minimum 25 year I don't know what any of this means. It means if you have a preliminary examination and there's a trial and you're convicted, you're going to get no less than 25 years in prison. Um, now, if there's a negotiation, Mr. Marvin can waive that. But if this child has to testify once or twice uh, and you get convicted, you're gonna get no less than 25 years in prison. If you get acquitted or the case is dismissed, that's a different story, but you're facing some very serious consequences. All right, Mr. Shook, I will see you next Tuesday. Well, dude, uh, you better hope that uh, you have a good lawyer, that you're proven innocent, and that uh, you don't end up in prison with Bubba and the boys who don't take too kindly to people who do that to children. So yeah, good luck with this one, dude, because, well, you're going to need it. And if you are convicted, well, your time in prison is not going to be pleasant for you. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?